Hello guys, it's me, Pretty Tough, and I know I've been a bit busy with work and struggling to find time for YouTube nowadays, but I'm going nowhere. And finally, God knows how long after I said I'd bring it out, here is the SG553 tutorial slash guide to help you get better with this awesome weapon. In this video, I'm going to be going over the stats, both basic and in-depth, the spread, recoil control, damage, and more. So be sure to watch to the end of the video, because you will come to understand the weapons of CSGO more than your opponents, which will give you an edge. I know it does because it's done the same for me making these videos. And so without further ado, let's get into it. This weapon is the most expensive assault rifle available to the T side for $3,000. The SG-553 is one of the few select rifles in game to offer the ability to ADS. And by the way of aiming down the sights, it actually halves the amount of recoil the weapon produces. The SG-553 has one of the slowest rates of fire for the assault rifles in class, but it's accurate and it has good control. And when you tap it, you can get easy headshots against enemies who have no armor and full armor because of its 100% armor penetration rating. And the SG also offers a great alternative for those who struggle to use the AK-47. In real life, the SG-553 is part of a family of weapons manufactured by Sig Sauer Arms, a Swedish weapons manufacturer. It has been a manufacturer since 1986 and has been designed through many variants. The one we know in CSGO, the SG-553, is actually a modified version of the SG-552 and which mostly addresses a few issues the weapon has and it now fires the Russian 7.62x39mm cartridge fed by a 30 round AK style magazine. The SG-553 costs $3,000 in game, and is one of the two weapons to offer the ability to aim down the sights. It has a rate of fire of 545 rounds per minute, giving it the slowest rate of fire in class, the next highest rate of fire being the AK, the AUG and the M4A1S. And so with its rate of fire it is down an entire 55 rounds and in combat situations a lot of the time you will notice it. So it's best to use this weapon at mid to long range combat instead of using it as a CQB weapon. The SG offers $300 per kill in comp and $150 kill in casual. With the base damage of 30 it has the second to lowest base damage in class. The lowest in class being its CT counterpart, the AUG, which has a base damage of 28. And the SG matches the base damage of 30 with the Galil and the FAMAS. And with an armor penetration rating of 100%, it has the highest penetration rating for an assault rifle in class. And it's able to penetrate two walls and 100% of armor, as mentioned earlier. It has a damage per second of 333, the same as the Galil and the FAMAS. Maybe that's just a damage model for the lower tier weapons or something, I'm not quite sure. And finally, the SG has a movement speed of 210 units per second, making it the slowest handling assault rifle in class, unscoped. And scoped, it has a movement speed of 150 units per second, the same as the AUG. Its base movement speed is the same as the Sawn-Off shotgun, making it the heaviest assault rifle in class. When it comes to deployment speed, it has one of the fastest deployment times from swapping, coming in at one second dead on, the same as the AK-47 and the Galil. The magazine insertion time is also the fastest in class, at 1.03 seconds to insert a new mag, and its ready-to-fire delay comes in at 2.77 seconds also giving it the second fastest ready fire delay in class, the fastest being the AK-47 at 2.43 seconds. These reload times are great, especially seeing as the weapon falls down in terms of rate of fire and damage per second, so the reload times really help to cater to the weapon's ability to perform greatly at distance, given its accuracy too, and if you're in close quarters you could easily go for headshots. The SG's best quality is its ability to not change damage output armor dependent. The SG deals 120 damage to the head, making it a one-shot kill regardless, 30 damage to the chest and arms, 37 to the stomach, and finally 22 as standard to the legs. With damage stats like that, the SG is brilliant at taking out enemies who have already been damaged by teammates earlier, or for taking those out who have armor with a single shot to the head. The SG-553 has the second best damage range modifier at 0.98, the same as the AK-47, AUG, and Galil. The best in class being the M4A1S at 0.99. Since the damage doesn't change accounting for armor, I'm going to display the damage both as no armor and full armor at ranges. The SG loses 2% damage at 500 units, which isn't a massive decline so much for as any other weapon. From point blank range, the SG deals 30 damage per shot, and between the point blank range and 1000 units, it loses 0.12 damage per 100 units, and then between 1100 to 1500 units, the damage drop declines slightly, but not enough for it to be a mentionable margin. Between the ranges of 2,000 units to 2,500 units, it declines by 0.11 per shot per 100 units, and then between the ranges of 2,500 units to 3,000 upwards, the damage decline is literally negligible, so you don't have to worry about it. And so the TTK is as follows. It's literally four shots, not taking headshots into account, and it's four shots across the board and across all ranges. The uncontrolled spread of the SG is as follows. From firing, the recoil goes up to the right slightly from the crosshair, and on the 10th to 15th shot, 
it does a slight come about from right to left. And then between the 16th and 17th to the last shot, it goes across to the left past the center axis. To control the spray, counter the uncontrolled pattern, which is relatively easy. You basically, when you start firing, you drag the gun down to the bottom left past its center axis, do a little loop to the right as if you're gonna come across the center axis, and then drag the mouse to the right past the point of where you first started shooting. It's difficult to explain in words, but follow the pattern on screen in practice and you'll find that it's relatively easy to control. As mentioned earlier, when you ADS with a weapon, the recoil is the very same, but all you need is half of the movement speed as you would have done in an uncontrolled spray. But whilst ADSing, you really wanna tap the weapon to get the best out of the SG. Whether you're at range or close quarters, once you master the recoil and become familiar with how the weapon reacts, you'll be popping heads off left, right and centre, trust me. Statistically, the stats are relatively okay. When unscoped, the running spread comes in at 136.01, giving it the third worst running spread in class, losing out to the AK-47 and the M44. I mean, in an ideal situation, you'd rather not be running and firing with the weapon anyways unless it's an emergency. The standing spread is the best in class, coming in at 3.78, and the same goes for the crouching spread, best in class at 2.84. When hip firing, the SG has a recoil magnitude of 28, giving it the second highest magnitude in class. And finally, the hip fire spread, the SG deals an additional 0.50 recoil per shot. Now when you're scoping, the running spread is the same, it's unchanged, it's 136.01, but the standing spread is decreased, as would be. The standing spread is 2.18, which is the best in class, and the crouching spread is 1.04 giving it the absolute undeniably best crouching spread in class. The recoil magnitude changes from 28 when unscoped to 19 when scoped, and instead of the additional 0.50 recoil per shot, it's reduced to 0.30. So as to be expected, the SG performs much better scoped than when unscoped. I mean, why else would it have a scope? Come on. Given enough everything I've told you in this video, I'm a big fan of the weapon. I genuinely love it, and so it's worth the money especially if you have a great position like boxes at B-Site overlooking CT on Dust2. You can deal some lethal damage from a great position like that. Moving on to the pros and cons of the SG. Its pros being it has an excellent armor penetration rating, it's fast deploy time and reload speeds, it's accurate and a great one-tapper, and it has the best spread and recoil in class for the most part. Its cons is its low rate of fire, its mid-range damage per round, and it can be outshot in certain situations against other assault rifles. And finally, it has the slowest movement speed in class, so picking positions prior to shooting is vital for success with the SG. In conclusion, the SG is definitely a great alternative for those who either struggle with the AK-47 or for those who are new to the game. My friend Cameron is an example for this, because when he first got a PC and played CSGO, he used the SG-553 and the AUG relentlessly, now he's better than I am, literally a thousand times over at this game, lucky bugger. I'm struggling to think of any downside to the weapon different than anything I mentioned already, but basically use it, master it, and you will find success with it. Trust me, you will know what I mean. And that, ladies and gents, brings us to the end of this video. I've tried to cover all the bases in the video to help you paint a picture of the weapon so you can master it. I hope you found this guide useful, and if it did, please sure to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel for more guiding videos like this. And be sure to join us next time where we learn all there is to know about the SG-553's scoped CT counterpart, the AUG. So take care, I will see you next time, and peace.